Hello everyone, this is Akai, and welcome back to another episode of Fun Day Sunday, and we are showing off a replay by one of my clanmates, uh, Yudachi DD, and he is taking out the Jean Bart for us today, and he said this was actually a really fun game uh, for him. So, we're gonna take witness. Now, the Jean Bart has been out for a little while. Uh, it's currently on sale in the arsenal for 228,000 coal. I'm actually very close to getting the Jean Bart. I uh, will probably do a video on it uh, when I do get the opportunity to actually get the ship. So if you're not familiar and you've been, let's say, living under a rock or better yet, just haven't been playing a lot of high tier, the Jean Bart is in essence another Alsace slash Richelieu, but it has the very, very powerful reload module. And I, I will have to say, playing the HIV, and if you are working at the French cruiser line, you'll love the reload module. It's very powerful and just as powerful with uh, the Jean Bart. Now the Jean Bart has the normal caliber that the Alsace has, very similar to the Bismarck and the Tirpitz. So they're not very large shells. So they are going to struggle a little bit more to deal a significant amount of damage uh, and even citadels against battleships. However, against cruisers very much powerful enough to deal damage against them but obviously cannot overmatch uh 32 bow 32 millimeter bow armor so you do have to keep that in mind now it does look as far as i can tell that udachi does not have a secondary mod or better yet secondary build on this john bart I don't know how many uh, captain skills he has, and it does look like the cyclone is starting to take effect. Probably should go ahead and mention there's actually, in fact, uh, CVs in this battle, which, well, the French crew or French battleship line does actually a really good job against uh, any CV planes that decide to go after it. So overall, not that terrifying. Opening salvo against that Iowa doesn't quite land. Kid is really pushing in, laying down uh, some smoke. Does look like he is gonna focus down this, try to focus down this kid. Now the kid, well, it does have torpedoes, but they're not, well, actually no, they're semi-decent. I'm actually thinking of the Sims. Uh, so, kind of dangerous position. Now, it is a French battleship, so it does have the use of the engine boost so if needs be he can actually start reversing out of here fairly quickly does get a decent hit but of course this is after they weaken the battleship AP against destroyers which let's let's be honest it was needed it's 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 not as fun as it used to be but it was very much needed now as it is probably well known it is a French battleship obviously but that means it is just entirely covered in um, 32 millimeter armor and it is just a sitting tea bag and it just catches fire left and right and unfortunately he does eat a torpedo does go ahead and use his damage control kid is firing a P at a uh, bow on a battleship not the best best option, but he finally goes down uh, to the Des Moines. Now, at the moment, the team is currently two to two. Not much has gained, but the friendly team does have two caps, and that's gonna prove beneficial. It does look like he actually uh, lost one of his guns, at least temporarily lost one of his guns. Now, the dispersion doesn't look too terrible, from what I can see looks fairly decent and right there just just the damage against uh, I was it's it's just it's kind of lackluster not saying it's the worst thing in the world and you can kind of see how he's currently playing he's he's doing the standard bow in uh, not trying to show a lot of side because well let's let's be honest uh, the ship probably is going to eat a ton of damage if it does show a lot of broadside now unfortunately for him he's not able to get shots at that Zhao that's pushing in and at the moment the majority of the enemy team is actually over here at sea 
Uh, enemy team's not really pushing in. They are gonna cap C. And let's see, that should at least make this battle a little bit more interesting. It's always unfortunate whenever the enemy team just loses on points alone, uh, bottoming out. Now, at time like this, switching over to HE might not be the be uh, worst idea, because uh, it does mean that you can at least do some fire damage against those bow on American ships. But instead, it looks like he's gonna try to surprise the Sal. Very dangerous. Because the Zao does have a very nasty sting to it. But with the engine boost, the Jean Bard is actually a fairly quick ship, and once again, it does have that reload module, so it can have a very, very potent uh, bite to itself. And is detected, is spotted. Zao knows he's coming, but I think, well, Zao's pretty much screwed. Opening salvo doesn't quite kill him, doesn't pop his. Reload module. Very dangerous position right now. Very much in the line of fire for the Zao torpedoes. Zao drops those torpedoes. And let's see, hopefully, Udachi can dodge these torpedoes. And it does look like that is to be the case, but now he is very much in the open uh, against this Iowa and the Massachusetts. And Salem is being a downright pester. Just shooting him with a P. Now, granted, yeah, I, I can understand why the Sal Salem was doing that, because uh, even against a broadside uh, battleship, it can net pretty decent damage, and these guns reload fairly quickly, but I'm not a big fan of the Salem, uh, if I'm to be perfectly honest. Let's see if he can at least get some good damage, even against this bow on target, and ricochets. Yeah, that's the only... Only major issue with the Alsace and the Jean Bart is the fact that the caliber of the guns are not big enough to actually overmatch the bow armor of Des Moines. And Des Moines are very much, or better yet, Des Moines and Salem's are very much safe against any possible AP salvos coming from uh, these lower tier battleships. Does get a shot at the Amagi. Enemy team is starting to push in. Doing a really good job here. They're starting to push into the B cap. Um, don't exactly know why they're kind of pulling away, but the cyclone is starting to take an effect that is going to limit the visual range on a lot of ships. Rodside turrets, 18,000 points of damage. Very nice salvo there. Trying to pull back, trying to pull away. This is actually something you really do have to keep in mind. You don't want a fair fight. And you definitely don't want to be in a unfair fight against more than ships than you can handle. And lost his turret again, which is highly unfortunate. Gets another decent hit on that turret. He's pulled back behind the island. All that's really able to target him right now is going to be that turret and that Salem. But the Cyclone is starting to really push in 20 kilometers right now. No longer able to get hit by the enemy Iowa. Uh, does look, he really probably needs to take out this Turpitz as quickly as possible. Try, he really does need to limit uh, what sh ships are shooting at him. And that Salem is still being a major issue. Shots off at that Buffalo. Buffalo was turning. Can he get the kill? Nope. Looks like the Alabama got the kill, and now the Cyclone is in full effect, which, once again, limits it down to only 8 kilometers. Now, the reason why I decided to show off this video was the fact that here in just a moment, we're going to see a very fun time with that Iowa. Keep in that Iowa is going to show up here in a moment. Shimakaze uh, just absolutely devastates. Uh, the enemy turpits, but the turpits actually gets his retribution against the Shimikaze with torpedoes. Highly unfortunate. This is extremely risky right now. Because, well, there's still a Massachusetts and an Iowa around somewhere. Actually, it looks like the uh, Massachusetts is coming uh, along this way. Now, did you see there? He actually did not aim for the bow, he actually aimed a lot higher, more towards the guns and the superstructure. That is something you really got to keep in mind because this angle 
With these guns, you're just not going to do a significant amount of damage. He is shooting into the superstructure. Uh, looks like the eye was even trying to help out. And one nice thing about the John Bart is the fact that this engine boost is going to allow it to get up to speed a lot quicker uh, and possibly dodge any uh, any torpedoes. Gets a nice hit in the Massachusetts, knocks out one of his guns, does 21,000 points of damage. Uh, probably just needs to ignore this Massachusetts, uh, if I'm to be perfectly honest. Not likely he's going to do any more damage. Uh, instead, he should focus down this Iowa. And this is where it is going to get interesting. Coming almost bow end to this Iowa, he has a chance to ram. It would prove beneficial for his team, does take out a heavy hitter. And look at the enemy Iowa, he's actually getting his guns just ready for that turn. He's actually just waiting for that broadside. This is very exciting. I love seeing battleships doing this. Decides to go for the ram. Oh no. Can he get rid of this Iowa? And look at this. <laughs> Slows up. Avoids the ram. He's so close. Gives him a little nice little honk. And this is very dangerous. Whenever you get into a situation where you essentially both come out alive of a broadside like that. You don't always want to really turn in, but it does look like the Iowa did use his rear turret. This is kind of the issue with the Jean Bart, is the fact that there are no rear turrets for uh, it to use. And hello, Mr. Salem. Salem pops up for a moment. He is making sure he stays bow in, or better yet, stern in. Uh, to the enemy Iowa and uh, that was <laughs> that was very fun to see to actually see him uh, decide against ramming but uh, I don't know he, he lost a lot of health if he can get rid of this Iowa it's gonna prove beneficial Iowa's turning broadside oh what are you doing pops his reload booster does get very nice hit quad citadel confederate dead Iowa and devastating strike with only 2,327 points of health left. Oh my word, that Iowa, why did he decide to turn broadside? Wow. That was not particularly a smart choice. Not particularly a smart choice on the uh, Iowa's part, but oh, he's so low in health. And I will have to say, Yudashi, you probably want to go ahead and use your heal. Uh, because the faster you use your heal, the faster you will get off cooldown. Because things are very tight. But fortunately, uh, it does look like the friendly team is really taking out these ships. Massachusetts is still alive. And this game's a pretty much done. So not a bad game with that Jean Bart. 188,109. Let's see if he can get a little bit more damage. And consider that I was actually his very first uh, kill of the game. It does get C captured, pushing back in, and Yadachi really probably need to pop your heal. Uh, because, well, in this instance, it would have probably kept you alive a little bit longer. Uh, but he is going to go down to the Massachusetts, gets a Citadel, earns high caliber, earns 201,199 points of damage. Very nice job there, Yudachi, and that is essentially going to be it for this game. So, very exciting. That's the one nice thing about the uh, French battleships, is they're very fun to play. They're very fast-paced. You can get in those situations, albeit very semi-dangerous situations, but still fun all the same. So, not a bad game for Yudachi. Very nice on the damage, but this Massachusetts is going to lose this. Uh, one way or another gets a nice hit from that North Carolina and fortunately he is going to let's see if the Massachusetts actually gets a nice hit back uh, North Carolina got really greedy there uh, trying to get that third turret to play very dangerous but this Massachusetts is going to go down and that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Dachi, for sending that in. And if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.